Time now for our Life and Info segment where we focus on information useful for your everyday life. It's Tuesday, so let's focus on health related stories. Now, South Korea is the only country in the OECD with a high incidence of tuberculosis, with one out of every three Koreans deemed to have latent TB. The government has unveiled measures as a result to try and eradicate the disease by the year 2030. And these measures include uh, mobile clinics and increased support for patients as well. Park Se-young reports. South Korea has the highest rate of tuberculosis in the OECD. In fact, just over 70 out of every 100,000 Koreans were infected with the disease in 2017, much higher than the OECD average of 11.1. The mortality rate from tuberculosis is also the highest in the OECD, at five deaths per 100,000 people. Tuberculosis was widespread during the Korean War due to malnutrition and poor residential conditions. It is believed that one in three Koreans have latent tuberculosis, which becomes active with age and weakened immune systems. As a response, the Korean government has announced a set of measures to reduce the country's tuberculosis prevalence to fewer than 10 per 100,000 people by 2030. The measures include free annual checkups for the most vulnerable people, such as senior citizens aged 65 and above, and the homeless. Mobile clinics will also be sent to urban homeless shelters, and those diagnosed with tuberculosis will be exempt from medical expenses. And from as early as July, foreign entrants with tuberculosis will be deported after two weeks of treatment in isolation to prevent foreigners from exploiting the state health insurance. Active tuberculosis is contagious, so experts stress the importance of diagnosing and managing the infection in its latent form. Early discovery of tuberculosis can prevent 90 percent of infections. When coughing continues for over two weeks, there's a high possibility of infection. Other common symptoms include coughing up blood, chest pains, unintentional weight loss, fever, and loss of appetite. According to the World Health Organization, the vast majority of cases can be cured when medicine is provided and taken properly. Park Se-young, Arirang News.